night my brother, my sister listened to me. I sleep around two, 1 o'clock, 1 a.m. I saw four people in the dream. Then cover their head, they carry AK, I don't know the tune that they call AK-25. AK-47. Yes, they carry all of, four of them. They meet me in the dream, said that they find me since, then they waiting for me. Then, then pay them money to break my legs that I cannot walk again. Why am I walking? I said, ah, who be the person? He said, oh, that's the door. Then carry the gun up. When people gather there, they say, don't talk. They say, make it up. I said, I lie. My daddy, Gio, I will talk. Correct. I will talk. I am a choosing. I am a choosing. I am a choosing. You wicked man, who are you? Correct. Where is God of my pastor power? Then begin shivery. Then begin shivery. I said, yeah, give me the gun. I collect one. I put them for my shoulder. I caress the second. I put down for my shoulder. I caress the third one. I carry it for hand. I'm choosing praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I'm here right now to show you a trending video. A trending video that is trending all over social media and a lot of people are using it wrongly. They don't even know how it happens, but they make use of it in a wrong way aspect of it today let me bring to you the real video the real video from the church treason so that you when you watch it you have to understand and see what you are hearing so that you don't misuse what god is doing god is still doing wonders if darkness can perform miracle how much more the king of kings and the lord of lord God is doing God is still doing wonders and I believe very well after watching this video you will believe that your God is able to do wonders let me break here and let you see this video first the Lord. hallelujah pray praise the Lord hallelujah my name is sister Rita Mbamalo I came from Kaduna, Kafanchan. I want to thank this great God of chosen for what he has done in my life, particularly this moment. Hallelujah. Amen. My, I joined this great movement in the year 2011. God see me through that period. So, along the line, I started to be having pain in my womb here. So this pain troubled me since that 2011. Uh -uh. I can I cannot use like this my skirt. I cannot tie it in my waist here. Only here. And I cannot put my underwear here. Only up. So in this great movement I told God before I was coming here I said all the problems and afflictions that I have in my family, in my business, in my marriage, see, I will, all of them will die here before I left here. Hey! Chosen praise the Lord. Hallelujah. God has chosen started with me to roll the problem away. So I, that object that is my womb here, since 12, uh, 12 years now, this, this object is still here. I have prayed, I've gone everywhere uh, for, for crusade. The object is still here. It was yesterday night that our GEO mount on the pulpit. He said, wherever you are having pain, tap that place three times. I tap my tummy. One, two, three. I remove my tummy. Jesus. Hey, Jesus. Kind. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Brethren, do you know what happened? We are listening. That is, I, I don't know. I said, is it a miracle? I what? water. Why get it? Hmm. The pain, the object, the stone, the bomb, the enemy put my womb, just vanish away. Power! Thank you, Father. Thank you, God of Chosen. Thank you, Lord. Chosen, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. What the pain in my waist? everything since 12 years 
I have carried this bomb here. But yesterday night, God was just rolling away for, for me. Hey. When this happened, I was doubting, is it real? I press, I do, I do what I don't used to do. I didn't see any pain. I didn't see any, I didn't have any, I said, is it a miracle? I said, no, so I will testify you. Because uh, 2011 at Abuja, God did something to me. I did not testify. I was afraid of my husband. She will be in the place now watching me. See if this is not happen now. We say, hey, I think you can go there and testify. I said, no, I will testify this one. So maybe that's why I'm going to have to come and enter into my womb. Brethren, the object vanished, everything vanished. Now I am free. Oh, God, God, you say. Thank you, Father. I'm going home with happiness and joy. Hey. Since that day I came here, it was only today I have the full joy. I dance like a madman when they were when they were singing morning chorus. I said, I don't know. That way joy come, everything come. Brethren, I have got all I need. Hmm. All my problems have solved. In this junction, I don't know what I, I, I'm not qualified to pray to our GO. But I said, the God that called him will grant all his hard desire in Jesus' name. Amen. I pray for all chosen ones all over the world. My brethren in Kapachan and my pastor, Isu. We have been bearing, praying for me and my family, heaven at last in Jesus' name. Amen. I cover my testimony with the blood of Jesus. Blood of Jesus Christ. Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Twelve years. Torment rolled away in a stroke of word from the pastor. My family after the 45 years age. Hmm. After how many years? 45 years. 45 years. Let's listen. It happened like this. When I born, immediately eight days, my naming ceremony, one week interval, my father died. Immediately, my father died. And I have another senior one down like five years and six years. Immediately my father dead, my mother took me out from my father's place to her own place. I was in my mother's place, grew up without knowing my father's place. At the age of seven years, my mother also dead. Immediately my father, my mother dead, I found out there's no anybody at all that can take care of me. I was laboring for myself. I look around as is it mad that I don't have anybody? You know, my mother dead, I don't have anybody to take care of me. I was struggling for myself. From age of 15 years, I decided to follow one man to Ibadan to work with him, to stay with him and work with him. And was about a year, I joined my former church. Yeah? I tabled the matter for them. I told them, this is what I'm going through. As you see me, I stand like a prodigal son. I know her father. I know that I'm her father. My father is way better. I, don't, I know my father's name. But I don't know area I will say my father belong. belong. Whether or not it's that evil that they come from. I know that it's evil man. But I don't know area that I will say my father come from Igbo. I table the matter for them. They guide me for prayer and pray for me. And fast and pray. I say, I should not worry. God will have it. I continue with them. Over 25 years there, no solution. I located Lagos State. As I come Lagos State here, I started to join that the same my former church again and join Atebado. I start with them, I table the matter to them again. They still pray for me. And every prayers and a made of fast and prayers, nothing happened. I have faith. I continue with them. From once to day, but today, I was going out in the morning. I saw Chuzi sister preaching in the junction and they wear our apron preaching. I wanted to pass that sister. Something drew me back. I look back, I don't see anybody. I was listening to the preaching of my sister. After my sister landed for that preaching, I went and meet her. I said, please, sister, can you introduce me this place, your church? I love this, your preaching. Sister, introduce me here. 
He told me the time of the reason has come here on Tuesday or on Thursday or Sunday. So on that Thursday, I come here. After the everything, I hear the preaching. After the everything, I join choosing. I become choosing fully. Come up unto God of the chosen. The mystery of walking God. I continue in choosing. I come here 2007. I table my matter in the God of chosen. See what I'm going through so many years. I don't know whether my father died because I was really little. I hear say my father died, but I don't know whether he's alive, whether I get another brother, whether I get another sister. I don't know. In my family, I don't know. I just stay like pregnant son. I don't have anybody. I tell my matter the God of chosen. I have hope. I committed in this of God. I continue. Be faithful to God. I never want to make my service. I continue. Be have faith that God of chosen must surely see me through. So, through 2007, I continued the law. So, even the wife I married, I told my wife I want married. I don't have anybody. I don't have family. I don't have brother. I don't have sister. If he can be able to marry me, there's no problem. He said, There's no problem. So, I, I told the matter of the church, I remember, they, they guide me for prayer and everything. And uh, even to pay the diary is uh, choosing people help me. When I went there, please they help me and stand with me and pay the diary before I can be able to come here and wed I do wedding. So that's how I take marriage. So I continue the law. They got my God's help. But this miracle took place last year. Something happened last year here on 2022, 10 and 2. I was come here, the only God can do this. A program will have only God can do this. So I was that program. I table the mamata of the God of choosing. Enough is now. Help me. What am I going to do? But you could this is a condition. And that very day, the, my pastor may show my case. Hey! He said there's a brother here. You are passing through challenges of your family. So many years. But this January, you are going to enter. You are going to see the miracle. I claim it. Power. Power. On the changing garment, I came here again and it still made sure he said, Yes, I claim it. So that week, something happened that week. Hmm. I was in my dream. I saw Angel or Pastor appear for me. I saw somebody wear a gold suit, pure gold suit, appear for me. He see me, he smile. He said, My son, you are blessed. I said, Amen, sir. In that dream. He said, take this. I collected it. I see what I collected is a pen. Baru. He said, he come here and that again. Exercise book. Hmm. I collected it. He said, open that exercise book. I open it. He said, whatever I call for you, you wrote it down. I said, okay, sir. This is the dream. Hey! God of power, God of truth. You begin to call. Call whatever you call, I write it down. Whenever you call, I write it down. Whenever you call, I write it down. To the Avra, everything, he said, My son, do you know what to wrote? I said, No, sir. But I see my father's name there. I see three names there. One is Wednesday, one is Wanga, and the second name, what is he said, See that name right there, there? Your father had two names. One is Wednesday, two is uh, Wanga, and the second one is your grandfather's name. And the, all these addresses are writing here. This address are going to use to locate your father's house. Hey! 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 Power! Power! Let's see what happened. This is still dream. So, when I, I get up, I look, he said, he say, as I say, oh, say yes, that the dream is I should be calling what I wrote. I begin to call what I wrote. I begin to call what I wrote. I begin to call what I wrote. Till I wake up in the dream. As I wake up in the dream, I rush, I go and carry back, begin to write everything down. Hey! After writing everything down, I called my wife. I want to travel because he gave me a date that I will go home. Everything, he gave me dates that I will go home. Mm -hmm. I called my wife. I want to travel. He said, travel at where? As I'm going to village. I go to my father's house. He laughed for me. He said, what's your father's house? Do you go father? Do you get mother? Do you get father? Do you get sister? Where, where do you think that your father's house is? 
I said, the angel or my pastor have given me address to locate my father's compound. Hey! Hey, hey, hey! He don't believe it. I said, I'm traveling next week. I said, okay, you are traveling next week. Where is the money? He didn't say to go to East, he said, go to my garage. I said, I have only 2,000 naira for my pocket. And uh, he said, I should travel next week. I have only 2,000 naira. And I told the 2,000 naira, I'll spend 1,000 naira of it. If only 1,000 naira. So that time I was working for one, I'm doing security work. For one Yoruba woman, I'm scoring him that time. So I decided that morning to go to my working place. I go there. I was there that Friday. I was in my working place. Table the matter of God of choosing. Like say, I'm communication. Say God, I want to travel next week Tuesday. Today is Friday. What am I going to do? I have only 1,000 naira. If you're through, the angel pastor appear for me. How am I going to do now? Lord, I need, I need, I need help. How would I do? I was communicating myself for that, that uh, my working place there. One woman was passing that road. He was passing. He reached my where I am. He, st he stopped. He said, Ah, security. Why are you talking only yourself? He said, I said, No, no. I'm, I'm praying. I'm praying, man. He laughed. He said, uh, uh, Every time I'm passing here, I'm seeing you standing here. But today I decided to give you money to buy car, restart car. I said, Thank you, man. He opened the handbag and bring the envelope and give to me. I said, thank you, ma'am. I see the envelope. He said, to buy that card. I said, yes, yes, sir. The woman went away. As I went there, they started to check the envelope. What did the envelope? is 50,000. Hey! Hey! Give God a massive clap offering. I appreciate this mighty God. Thank you, Father. Only God can do this. Finger of God. Spirit and power of God. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. From there, I have boldness that I'm traveling. I had to come out. I told me I'm going, I'm traveling next week. He said, Oh, Saturday, come. Let me know what happened. On Saturday evening, I meet him. I told him I want to travel. He said, What happened? I said, No problems. I won't just want to reach home. I said, you, Are you with the transport? I said, Sir, I go come. I know that God can provide. It's okay, let me come. He went inside, I come, and bring some money, and give me, I cut the money, it's 60,000 naira. Hey! Hey, hey, hey! Hey, hey, hey! Thank you, Father. God of choosing is so great. That's how like, God of choosing provide the money for me from fr Friday to Saturday, 110,000 naira to travel that village. Hey! God of choosing. So, on that Tuesday, I took my dress. I hold it very tight. You see how the whole dollar, that's how I hold address. I hold it very tight. I enter a motor at the Kurudi there. To, according to the address. So before I enter the motor, there is my friend. I know that the baron. I call him that I'm coming. I'm going to Ebony State. But I don't know the time motor will can reach Ebony State today. But I'll go to sleep your place. From there in the morning, I can pick up and go. He said, no problem. Anytime you come, just stop at the Holy Ghost. Where is the Holy Ghost? Enter so -so this uh, taxi to show this place. I'm waiting for you there at any time you come. I said, okay, sir. So from there, I'm going to break down on the road that's where I'm going. Before getting to Onisha, it's something after, after 11. The vehicle said, no, okay, again, just on that motor. We are on, four people enter that bus. Getting to Holy Ghost is something after one to two. In the midnight. In the midnight. As I come down, Four people that to me with the together that was all of them find their way. He remember me with my apron. I look around, nobody in my side. I look around, nobody in my side. I say, where will I go to go in this place? I don't know area in this place. I had to put my hand in my pocket to bring my phone to call my friend. To call that I have now in the Holy Ghost bus stop. That he should locate me. So I own my phone, my phone have off. I don't I say as my own off. I say, ah, why would I locate this brother now? I will locate this friend now. I was calling myself. I look at that, nobody I see. Everybody will try. I say, God or Jesus, what am I going to do this night? What am I going to do? I don't know where any place here. I was close my eyes. As I close my eyes to pray to God or Jesus, what am I going to do? I see somebody stand my, my, my front. Hey! Hey, hey! Somebody stand my front. I ask me, brother, where are you going? I tell him, sir, I'm going to point stage. But the, like, the reason is that um, uh, when mo motorsport on the road, and before I get here, it's a late hour. And then my friend, I want to sleep in his place. But the reason is that my phone have off. How to connect the brother? I don't know how to connect the brother again. That's I was saying, I was confused. It's okay. That brother you are going to meet, that your friend, do you know, do you know, do you know that uh, uh, the boss officer should meet him? I said, yes. He told me the boss officer can enter Texas to come meet him. But the reason that my phone have off. He said, you hold the phone number. I said, I hold the phone number. I said, okay, wait for me, I'm coming. The man went away. In that night, 
as two minutes i see one taxi coming with double punter coming with double punter towards me as he reached where he is he stopped the man come out of that taxi he said my friend go and tell that taxi man tell him that the bus stop you are going i go there i told the taxi man see bus stop i'm going at the enugu here do you know it he said yes i know it it will be now bus stop so i say you know it i enter the taxi the man entered the bus for taxi follow me he took me when he read that bus stop he stopped me as he stopped me i come down the man come down follow me and the taxi man move he went away i stand there it's okay call the number of that your friend i bring you bring your phone you to die the number as dying the number he never even died me. he said i should look up look up that brother see that man that stand over there he's not that your brother talking about i look up i say yes sir i say okay how do you know that my friend hey he said that is your friend talking hey, hey. fear god of children fear you god clap unto god thank you lord mystery miracle thank you father as i see the brother my, my friend i say yes is that my friend with this i went for that he see me he was running come to meet me as he want to meet me not to rock me like this i said no 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 wait help me greet this man i help me in the bus stop help me tell me to help tell me to help me greet this man i don't see this man again oh god of chosen angels of chosen pastor told us early in the day at the beginning that we will see angels physically and they've been happening every day now I saw the man disappear. I look around, no, but I don't see anybody. I look around, I don't see anybody. I follow now my friend and go and sleep in place. In the morning, that's how God delivered me that night. In the morning, I pick my dress, I enter motor at the Holy Ghost to a, a boy state, the back I enter that bus. I enter that bus. I had to pray for that bus and preach. After my preaching, I told the driver, I'm going to saw this place before a back town. I'll go to stop to saw this place. He said, Do you know the bus stop? He said, Yes, I know the bus stop. Immediately I reached here, the driver dropped me. Immediately he dropped me down junction. The, to cross the road, one of the man rushed me. I come, okay, where are you going? I said, please, sir, come, let me show you this address. Why, who? Do you know this address around this, this area? Please. He looked at the address, he said, yes, yes, where is the compound? But no, no, we are not calling that place where is the compound. What I call that place now is Bishop Compound. I said, no, 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 it's not Bishop Compound. I'm talking. I said, where is the compound? I look at the address very well. He said, yes, sir, that place you are going is the Bishop Compound. He said, where is the, he said, where is the, but his son is a bishop. One of his sons is a bishop. I said, no, I don't believe what I say. I said, it's yes. Sit down, let me carry you, sir. Now that place there is a popular place. Nobody around here don't know the place. I said, Can I sit down, let me carry you. He took me. I read there. I said, before get there, let me ask somebody. When I, is, it, is, it, is it the same thing? I asked one woman there. I... And I also want to thank this great God of the Chosen who gave me multiple scholarships across the... Thank you, Father. Thank you, thank you Father. Clap unto God for that great miracle. Thank you, God of Chosen. Thank you, Father. My testimony goes like this. In fact, it's a long story, but I will cut it short. The testimony started 2018. When we planted a, a branch in our area, in our area. Before we attend Ibobo 1, now we are now in Ibobo 7. So one day, me and my husband, we are in the house. We were just discussing that this is our area. There is no any chosen branch. And he said, yes, so would that even when rain falls, it will be hard for us to go to our branch. And I told him, ah, if we have chosen branch in this our area, it will be good and it will be easier to us to go. He said, yes. So we started putting it into practice. So before he know it, him and his, one of our brother in the branch, they went to a place they saw uh, a space there, they paid for it. So we started planting, putting things in that place. By the special grace of God, we started supplying blocks in that place. So we started planting, building that branch. After everything, he left pulpit there. So one day he called one furniture that he wanted to do furniture in our parlor. Before he now remember, I said, no, that he have not done pulpit in the branch. So when I overheard them discussing it, and I come out, I told him he want to do pulpit. He said yes. I said, okay, you do one, let me do one. So I told him when I was going, I told him, settle the furniture man. When I come back, I will give you my money. He said, okay. So that 2018, during the enemy submitted, I came, the, I came to the program. And that day, because ever since I got married, my issue is menstrual pain. When I go to scan, they will tell me that my, I have five broad. That if I do not go to operation, there is no way I will conceive. Even sometimes the doctor they will be asking me, Are you into family planning? I say, No, I'm still expecting. So each time 
my menstrual cycle come and it will become a problem. So that very day he came out. I was under considerate whether to come to the program or not. And he gave me money that I should go. And, and I was afraid to tell him whether to go or not. So I now told him, why can't you join me? Let's go to the program. And I said, okay, both of us, we came. And I was receiving that pain. I could not get up. So I waited, though, until our daddy man the pulpit. He measured my case. He said, you that woman over there that are receiving that pain in your body, in your, in your tummy, I command you to receive it in Jesus' name. Hey! Immediately, I jumped up. I claimed it. It's as if they pour cold water on my body. So when we got home, I told him, ah, today program did not pass me by you. The next morning, I woke up in time. I jump up and said, I'm going to this program, being on Sunday. So after that, uh, August, July, I mean, June, July, I, um, I missed my period. Hmm. When I go to scan, scan confirm me pregnant. Power! Power! Thank you, Lord. So, after everything, I started carrying the pregnancy till nine months. When I, I delivered that baby, the next day, that baby gave up. So I lost that pregnancy, that baby. So I will keep on continuing faith because I know what this God of choosing will do. After all, they have told me that I cannot conceive, that even if I conceive, that during the period of eight months, that my husband will die. Or if I want to put to bed, it's either I will die with my baby. So I'm not convinced. I say, God, if this baby paid the price of me and my husband, no problem. I know that you return the glory back to me. So 2019, God of choosing visited me again. July, I mean June last year, God of choosing visited me. So this year, February, I put to bed. Thank you, Father. So, Thank you, God of chosen. This is the baby. God of chosen visited me with a bouncy baby boy. Power. So uh, on that day, on that day of my delivering, my husband took me to the hospital early in the morning and he left. I was only one there. I keep on believing this God. So during the time the labor hold me and I, I wore my apron, one choosing pastor. Um, I saw one choosing pastor when I want to enter the theater. So immediately when I want to open the door, he called me, said, Sister, wait. He prayed for me. He said, You are a choosing. You will go there as a choosing uh, as a Hebrew woman and come at. So I said, Amen. So when I got to that place, somebody is all in, in the theater already. They took me to resting room. I was there. Immediately they took me to theater. It's not up to 30 minutes. I put to bed. Power! Like Hebrew women, like the chosen women. Thank you, Lord. I want to return all this glory to this God of the chosen, who made me and my husband to stand firm for good 11 years, who did not allow us to put to shame, hmm. who proved the enemy, who, who uh, I mean, who proved, who, I mean, who make a way when there is no way in my life, who proved, who told the enemy that their, their word is failed. Because it's only him who can do this or that. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I want to pray for my pastor, heaven at last. All the family member, heaven at last. Including me and my family, heaven at last. I love all the choosing one. Choosing the first class in Jesus' name. Amen. So let your husband speak now. Choose it, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We can see the baby rejoicing there. Thank you, Father. Thank you, God of choosing. Choosing, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Choosing, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The God of choosing is so great. He is so great. The God of choosing is so great. He is so great. The God of choosing is so great. He is so great. Brother, when I say the God of choosing is so great, you may not understand. Tell us. But I want to tell you, this God of choosing is so great. He is so great. Praise the living God. Hallelujah. I will say that the drama started on the fourth of this month, month of mercy. My name is Ifani Udechuku. I'm staying at house 8A, F close, Fort Avenue, First Act. I'm from First Act 1. I am proud to be a choosing. 
Praise the living God. Hallelujah. Brethren, I said that the drama started on the fourth of this month. On that fourth, I decided to go with my wife. She stays at Lagos Island while I stay in, in, in Trade Fair. So on that very fourth, I decided to go with them to Lagos Island. As we are driving towards uh, my two estate, my phone rang. I picked the phone. It's my pastor from the village, my village pastor. He called me and said, Brother Ifani, as I was praying for you last night, the, the Lord said I should tell you, it is well with you. All the world give my praise the living God. Hallelujah. When he said this, I went to I tell you, my, my, my heart swell. I was thinking that if I get to Lagos Island that day, the whole of Lagos Island will line up in my place. Hmm. But far from that, God has a different package for us. I want to tell you, if maybe you are praying for money, or you are praying for some other things else, God knows what you needed at a particular time. Praise the living God. Hallelujah. That very day, I assure you, the day's business was so good. When we close in the evening, we are driving home from first Lagos Island. We passed through Agoda. As we came to this cele that cele bridge, before we come to the express, as we are just ascending the bridge, boys came from all over the place, numbering over 10 or more, breaking people's glasses. Hmm. The Camry in front of my car, they hit the glass, the glass opened, they forced the door open, they draw the man in front, they throw him out, they rob the car. The same boy rushed down to our car. I'm carrying my boys with my wife in the car. We are, we are driving Honda Pilot. He came with that same thing. He hit the glass of the car. He hit it two times. The glass could not break. Praise the living God. Hallelujah. My wife started shouting, I'm a choosing, I'm a choosing. Everybody in the bus, we are chorus. I'm a choosing, I'm a choosing. He left us and go to the Highlander in front of us. One hit, the glass break again. They rub that one. They rub back. Some are rubbing in the front, some are rubbing in the back. But our car, nothing happened to the car. Power. Praise the living God. Ah. Hey, hey, hey. Choosing Thank praise the Lord. Hallelujah. As all these things are going on, my side glass, I did not wind it up. It was when we moved from there, one of my boys said, Ah, okay, your side, your glass is open. This God is so good. He's so great. All that they are doing, they are just operating on the right side. The other side is open. Nobody came there. It was even then that I wind up the glass. Choosing praise the Lord. Hallelujah. As we dot him that day, as a result of the fear. My wife said we shouldn't be going with the car again. We should just come down to the first rim, second rainbow here. We get a bus that will take us to Lagos Island and we come back the same way. I said, okay, we park the cars in the house. So this thing happened on the fourth being Tuesday. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, we went this way. We didn't go with the car again. Then on Saturday, I came back from parade reluctantly around 12. I said, let me still get to, to Lagos Island. So I, I went to Lagos Island, I met them. After the day's business, we closed around six. We asked the boys to close and come back later. So I went with my wife. We joined a bus from Lagos Island to Orile. As we get to Orile, we joined another one that will bring us to Second Rainbow. Brethren, it does not, it's not up to five minutes. This, boy, this bus left Orile. There's another boy, it's a downfall bus. There's another one by our right. And we are supposed to take the service lane because we are going to Second Rainbow. So the other bus was there. Both of them, we are dragging who will pass each other. And they were running at that such speed. Our own was running that he make sure he overtake the other one before because the demarcation, that, that block they built that demarcates the express from the service lane is just very close. So our own boss was on a very high speed to make sure he overtake the other one, but the other one could not give him chance to overtake. So as they get to that very one, the other one runs straight, and our own aims straight at that very demarcation that demarcates the express and the, and the distance, and he hit with that speed, he hit that thing, that thing lifted the boss up and threw everybody on the ground, mm. and, and the boss fell on us. Mm. And the worst part of it is that when the boss fell on us, the fuel from the bus poured on everybody in the, in the vehicle. Mm. The whole place was soaked with fuel, all, even our body. And I said, I don't know what happened. Maybe I'm the target of the accident. 
I couldn't get out, I couldn't get up until the bus was carried up. Hmm. Because I had people saying, let us carry, let us carry. They lifted the bus up. That was when I came out from the bus. And as I came out, I looked around, I saw my wife by the side of the road, crying my chest, my neck, my chest, my neck. I ran to her. I, found, I, I said, please wait, nothing will happen to you since I'm here, since God has delivered us. I mean, and the people, they just scare people away from there because God really did wonders because everybody in the bus, nobody was maybe using phone and the phone did not ring and nothing happened to light off fire because had it been anything happened there, the whole place will catch fire and everybody will be on fire. But God of choosing, God of choosing delivered us the hey. fire and we get out from the scene. Praise the living God. Hallelujah. So I get another bus and take my wife to the hospital. There's a hospital in Orile, Evergreen Hospital. I took her there. The doctors and everyone, they attended to her. They admitted her that night. So after they admitted my wife, I called my pastor, Festac One. I called him. I said, please, pastor, we had an accident now. We are in so, so, so place. And the pastor said, okay, okay, okay. After some time, the pastor called me again. I said, where are you? I told him again. I want to tell you, here in Lagos, there's a group of people they call the RRS, Rapid Response Squad. I want to tell you that name is supposed to be given to the pastors and leaders of the Lord choosing. Because as my pastor said, okay, okay, okay. I want to tell you, in a short time, my pastor came to the hospital, followed with my assistant pastor and my zonal leader. Mm. And they made prayers, choosing praise the Lord. Hallelujah. They made reassurance prayers. After the prayers, I want to tell you, God of choosing answers prayers. Power. Praise the living God. Hallelujah. And, and come over the night, the next morning, we are discharged from the hospital. We came down to Festa and continue with our, with our medication, choosing praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Again, I want to thank the Lord for the month of May. Praise the living God. Hallelujah. In the choosing calendar, the month of May is the month of mercy. Correct. And I want to tell you, the month of May is my month. You may, be, you may be saying, why do I say so? Yes, it's my month. I was born in the month of May, May 20th. My wife was born in the month of May, May 22nd. We waited in the month of May. We had two of our kids in the month of May. So if I say May is my month, please don't doubt me. It is my month. Choosing praise the living God. Hallelujah. The God of choosing is so great. He's so great. I want to pray for my pastor. Can we give God a very good offering for those mighty deliverances, intervention, acts of God of chosen? Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you, God of chosen. I want to pray for my pastor. I said, this God that has called my pastor even in my own time. This God will never forsake him. Amen. This God will confirm all the words of our, my pastor with signs and wonders following in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. And all the chosen ones and my family, I wish all heaven at last in Jesus' name. Amen. Let your praise wife, the Lord. Hallelujah. Let your wife say praise the Lord. Choosing praise, Master Jesus. Hallelujah. Wow, I know very well that you have watched this video and you have learned something and you have that you can now say something about what is going on on our social media and you can now defend the work of God. That God is still real. God is still doing great things. Okay. Please do well to follow my page, like, and comment. I'll be very, very grateful to see you as one of my followers. Thank you very much. See you on my next video.